welcome back. This is the MSI Mag B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. It retails at RM839 and let me tell you how good this board is and this could actually be the board for you especially if you are building something that uses an Intel 11th generation or 10th generation non-K variant. Let's dive into the details. The MSI Mag B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi comes with a nice gunmetal grey coloured heat sinks. Over on the VRM side, the heat sinks are beefy, cooling the 12 plus 2 plus 1 dual rail power system that uses SinoPower SM4377NS 55M MOSFET on the high side and SM4503NH80M for the low side. And it has Renaissance RAA229001 PWM. The first M.2 slot on the B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is disabled when using 10th Gen Intel processor. However, this does not apply to all MSI boards. The table is as seen here, taken from MSI's website, and I will provide the link in the description. Let's move on. The B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi has pre-installed I.O. Shield. It also comes with 2.5 GB LAN and Intel Wi-Fi 6 for speedy connectivity. The PCB of the board has a cut-in design. MSI calls it a typical PCB. I'm just glad that the design does not compromise the mounting of the board. What's more interesting to me is that the board comes with a physical switch to disable LED. Definitely a huge plus point on this regard. It also has keep out zone markings. Good, but I think the standoffs aren't likely to reach those spots. For customization, some of you might be interested in the bundle stickers. Lastly, we have the BIOS, which is nothing out of the ordinary. MSI's usual interface, which is easy to get around to make changes on your system. As you can see, I'm running an Intel Core i5-10400F, which is not a strong processor. Therefore, it is not something that will push the limits of the VRM cooling. Alright, we come to the end of this video. Excellent board it is. Go badge from me. RM839, if you are building a non-K system, perhaps you want to go for an 11900 or 10900 from Intel's high-end uh, consumer desktop, then this is a good motherboard for you to go to. After all, it has Wi-Fi, it has good VRM, it has beefy beef, this uh, VRM cooling, supports PCIe Gen 4, and yes, affordable price at RM839 for all these features. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.